Give you a good break. Plenty of water. You got to have that water for a couple of reasons. You need it to fill up your moonshine, your groundhog, and you're going to need it for your cooling purposes. You got to find you a good place, a good high bank, and come and you cut you out a hole in the bank. That's about a foot out from that, all the way around. If we were really running this, we would have set this even with the top of the ground. You put that metal around it, put the dirt back around it, put your chimney in the back, so when you put heat here, that's like a cooking pot, it'll draw the heat around it. Okay, you can come in there like that one, what they call a three sack, you take 300 pounds of sugar. Right fill it up water, you take roughly 300 gallons of water, about 40 pounds of uh, wheat bran, quarter pound of dry active yeast. You put just a little bit of heat on it, you walk away from it. That brand's gonna come to the top. What that does is form what we call a cap, which holds heat in it. It's gonna start a fermentation process. It takes three to five days, depending on how warm, how the weather is. You're gonna check it every day, and you're gonna come in, you know, three to five days looking in, that brand's gonna be gone. It don't look like cornbread on top. That tells you it's ready to run. It's do with the fermentation process. All right, then you're going to bring in your cap barrel on your steam pipe, your double radiator, set all that up. Put your heat to it. And what you're doing is extracting the alcohol out of this sugar and water. That steam. It'll come up in here, steam, come through the steam pipe over into this doubler. The reason for that doubler is if you boil it too hard, you don't want that mash to over here to stop up your radiator. Because if first it'd burn your moonshine, to stop that radiator, it could back up that steam pressure and blow it up. So you got to be careful with it. And anyway, that steam will come through there and back into this doubler. And that's like I said, just in case you overboil it, it'll right to the bottom. It'll come back out of there and through this pipe here and down into here as steam. Well, when it comes into this radiator, that radiator sitting in that cool water, that's going to condense it back to your liquid. When it condenses back to your liquid, when it first starts coming out right there, it may be 160, 80 proof, which is way too strong to drink. Okay? Let me finish and then I'll come back and ask you a question. Uh, then when it first comes out there, like I said, it may be 160, 80 proof. Way too strong to drink. So what you do is catch it there. As you run it, it's going to get weaker and weaker. You catch it there and you pour it into what we call our proofing barrel. It's a five-gallon barrel sitting over there. Black one sitting right over there. You pour it into that barrel and you keep, it. as it runs, it'll get weaker and weaker. And you keep catching it, pouring it in the barrel and checking your proof. You want to cut it down to 100 proof, 110 proof, whatever proof you wanted your moonshine to be. Once you get it cut to that proof, then the process is done. You take the heat off of this, tear all your stuff down, go hide it so it can all come in, sweeten this back and cover it up for the other three or four days. You bottle that up, can it up, tear it out, sell it, drink it, party with it, whatever you want to do with it. When do you add the flavoring to it? Flavor it? You can flavor it. Best thing to do is go ahead and make it and then put your peaches or apples or whatever in it. A lot of people use scuffing and stuff like that. And it will ruin it, but when you get through, all you've got is the alcohol off of whatever you use. It don't really have the taste because it, it's like boiling water. It comes out clean. If you want the flavor, the best thing to do is once you make it, is to put the flavor in it. You know, put, like we've made some, put peaches or apples in it. You know, let it sit for a month or two, and then you get your flavor. Okay. Moonshine. I said I heard this Huh? No, it's the same here. For real. That's what I heard. Maybe he can have it.